Hi, this is Iron Inside Valentine and this is my take on Cobra Kai season 4. So in overall terms, I think this season would be an 8 out of 10. Definitely not my favorite. It's not like there's anything really wrong with it, but not really my cup of tea. <laughs> Basically in this season, um, Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence have to team up with each other to try to take down Cobra Kai. Um, cause Cobra Kai is the bad guys, you know. Basically in this season, there's still a love triangle. Basically, Robbie Keane and Tori go to prom together, and then Samantha LaRusso and Miguel Diaz are like, no, 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 -uh, that's my ex, cause they both, they're basically all dating their exes. But being honest here, the way this season ended was amazing, you know, it left me shocked. And also, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you watched the whole season, but if you haven't, this is a spoiler. The way Terry Silver frames Chris, because Terry Silver beat up Stingray. And I thought that was so unfair. Stingray won the little forest competition. Why would you do that to him? He was such a cool member of Cobra Kai. And um, the way Tori found out that her whole winning the competition thing was a lie. And I felt really bad for her. I honestly really love Tori and she didn't deserve that. But yeah, um, Daniel LaRusso also brought in Chosen, which is really nice, you know, long time rivalry of Daniel LaRusso, our friends. They're both friends and they work to, but um, that's it, you know? Um, this season was pretty good, not my favorite, but the ending was the best. Um, so I rate it an 8 out of 10, and yeah, stay tuned for more Cobra Kai recaps. Bye!